the art and science of asking questions is the source of all knowledge. That's a quote by Thomas Berger. G'day gang and welcome to the Hidden Why podcast episode 298. This day is my day to bring you a book that I've recently reviewed. Guys, here at the Hidden Why podcast, it's all about living life with greater passion and purpose and I want to inspire you to do that in your lives. And to do that, I think we really need to discover our why and then following our why, making better decisions, taking more purposeful action, we can live towards greater freedom, fulfillment, and happiness. And certainly, it helps me to increase my awareness, build my knowledge, and reading books is a great way to do that. It helps me give more insight into my life and better practices that I can incorporate into my life to help me really undertaking those practices that help me succeed in what I want to do in life. So guys, books are fantastic. If you love books, then you'll love this one by Frank Cessno. It's called Ask More, The Power of Questions to Open Doors, Uncover Solutions, and Spark Change. Guys, you can support the show by picking up a copy of the book using the Amazon link in the show notes at thehiddenwide.com, episode 298. So press the link, um, support the show, purchase a copy of this great book. Support Frank too, for that matter. Guys, if you don't want to support this book and, and buy this book, you can buy any of your Amazon purchases through that link and it helps support the show. So if you're a fan of the show, if you're a regular listener, please keep that in mind next time you're thinking about buying something on Amazon. Just go to hiddenwide.com and follow the links there. We've also got a deal with Audible, guys, so you can pick up two free audio books and start listening to your books as well. It's a great way to consume great content and certainly something that I regularly listen to. I'm reading books all the time through Audible. So if you're not already a member, check that out as well. Guys, I thank you for tuning in today. I hope you really enjoy my book reflection. And if you do, please share it with your network, Facebook, Twitter. Make sure you check out all that's going on at thehiddenwire.com. Sign up for my newsletter there. Subscribe to The Hidden Why podcast. And check out my new series, THY TV. You can get me um, you know, looking like a fool on camera talking about what I talk about. So check that out, guys. THY TV, Lee Martinuzzi YouTube channel. Guys, until the end of the show... We will talk soon. See ya. Ask more. The power of questions to open doors, uncover solutions, and spark change by Frank Cessno. G'day, gang, and welcome to... This week's book reflection, I've got a cracker of a book to bring to you today. I really, really enjoyed this book. It's it's up there for the books so far this year. And actually, I've spoken with Frank Cessno too, who is in episode 301. So check that out and have a listen. A very inspiring interview and, and lots of insight and, and depth from Frank about, you know, asking great questions. <clears throat> so certainly... It's all about questions, and I think you know a big part of the change in my life was about asking questions, asking questions, and really it was allowing the space to ask those questions and having the courage, not to you know walk away or be afraid of what those and what the answers might come up about those questions. So Frank Cessno is an award-winning American journalist, as a former CEN correspondent, anchor, and Washington bureau chief, and currently a director at George Washington University. Frank has learnt the knack of asking powerful questions. In this book, he shares his knowledge by grouping the types and styles of questions that one may ask into 11 succinct categories. So he has 11 categories um, or types of questions that we may ask. Questions are inquiry that require answers and it is the inside of questions that bring the magic. It is thought by many, and I believe Frank agrees, that the human population in large part has lost the ability of asking questions well and and really using thought and structured questions to help develop them and and get better answers. Perhaps we have stopped asking questions, period. I'm not too sure. Certainly, I ask a lot of questions and I sometimes ask stupid questions, Um, but I'm just curious and I just want to understand things. I just want to figure things out myself. So whether you're investigating the cause of problems using diagnostic questions, that's one of the styles that uh, Frank discusses in his book, diagnostic questioning, or simply looking for ways to bring more novelty to the party with entertaining questions, Frank has you covered. He's got all the categories covered, and I really enjoyed enjoyed reading um, such questions that he, he brought to light. That was just fascinating and really got me thinking about how 
uh, how I could you know, use more questions in my life, what I could ask, what sort of questions I could use, where and when I could use them. Um, every day, you know, in my life, and, and certainly got me asking some more questions too, which is a little bit of fun. So have a have a look at that and, and see what sort of questions you might come up with. Have you thought about you know what makes a party great? And you know, in the in the category of entertaining questions, there's a great ways and many ideas shared there that can bring some really good life to a, a social event or party. So I enjoyed that category. The other categories I enjoyed too were confrontational questions, legacy questions, creativity questions, and empathy questions. Certainly some questions or categories there that I didn't really have much thought around what sort of questions were required or or how to perhaps best form a question within those categories. So Frank highlights some of the questions that can be asked within each style and um, really helps us um, you know, bring bring it into greater context by giving us examples of the questions as well. I feel each category of questions has its time and place for us in our day-to-day life, so it just depends on what's happening in your life, and I think we can use each of the categories. What was the last challenge, and here's a question for you, what was the last challenge or problem you faced at work, and how did you handle it? It's easy to make rash assumptions and jump to conclusions, but using diagnostic questions, you might find greater gain and further insight into the truth of what actually happened. This is a healthy way to you know, solve and deal with problems and issues in the workplace and can really assist to prevent further occurrences. Often I think it's because of the lack of questions or the, the I guess a lot of you know, staff asking managers questions, uh, perhaps there's a fear around what the consequence might be of asking certain questions, but I think it's, it's those questions that lead to greater, greater benefits for the organizations and certainly those that don't ask the questions can lead to a lot of trouble. I'm reading a book right now about um, you know, uh, plane crashes and accidents around the world. And um, particularly, it, it sort of looked at when the co-pilot is in charge in the pilot of the day, um, the questions seem to be more asked. When it's in the reverse and the, and the captain of the ship is flying, sometimes the co-pilot feels a bit more afraid to ask certain questions. And that has led to some serious accidents as well. And so you can adopt that to any situation. You know, if we're afraid to ask the questions of our superiors or the people that are in a a position or status of authority, we may not get to the truth. And actually another study um, represented the ability of asking questions, and I'm going off on a big tangent here, guys, but um, another study looked at, um, you know, children asking questions, and then parents that seem to encourage their children to stand up to authority and ask questions seem to have a greater opportunity or, or advancement to success in their lives. And it certainly seems like those that have parents who are a little bit more well-off or wealthier, they seem to be the ones that are encouraging their kids. Whereas those that are in you know, p- poorer conditions or in poverty even, they seem to be, be a bit more intimidated by figures of authority and hence then don't ask the questions or encourage their children to ask questions. So something that really got me thinking about my parenting and, and how I need to, not need to necessarily, but how I'd like to influence my children to just go out there, be courageous, and don't be afraid of asking really, really powerful questions. Anyway, back to the book. So legacy questions, another great category of questions. What is the legacy that you want to leave behind? Legacy questions for much of what I ask here at The Hidden Why, to be truthful, in order to gain insight into how we can live a greater life. It are these big questions that when directed internally, we can bring about clues and truths about ourselves that might just trigger greater meaning and purpose. And what brings you meaning in life? You know, what brings you meaning in life? Ask yourself these questions and see what answers come about. And it might just help you direct your life in a more truthful manner. Ask More, a fantastic and insightful read, a book that without doubt will spark interest in you to ask more questions also. Scattered with insightful questions throughout, you won't be left lost without knowing what questions to ask. Frank has given hundreds of examples. Practice is the key. I think that's the key to asking questions. If we stop asking questions, we fall out of practice, just like any other practice that we do in our lives. And therefore, we lose the benefits of that practice. So ask a question today. Ask a question every day. Set yourself a challenge. What question can you ask today to to your boss, to a colleague, to a loved one, to gain greater insight and spark more progression in your life? What answer are you looking for? In curiosity, problem solving, figuring out what to do next in life, how to ride a bike, or indeed, why the planets form as they do, 
Questions give raise to answers. Questions promote further passion. Questions help keep the peace and can also bring tension when asked incorrectly. Questions will assist us in many aspects of our life. If you want to listen to the interview I conducted with Frank Cessna, again, guys, that is, I believe, episode 301. Check it out and um, make sure you jump online, subscribe to my newsletter at thehiddenwire.com. And if you enjoy this book review, guys, share it with your network. Share it out Facebook, Twitter, and leave us a review at thehiddenwire.com or even on iTunes. Thank you guys for taking the time out to tune in and we will talk very soon. Enjoy. Peace, passion, purpose. Well, I almost forgot to say it. There you go, guys. Another great show. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you got some value from it. I would love to hear from you, and I encourage you to jump onto thehiddenwide.com. Subscribe to our newsletter. Subscribe to this podcast so you can keep up to date with all that's happening in the Hidden Wide world. And leave me your comments and thoughts on this show or any of the other shows that you're listening to and what you're loving. If you could do me a favor too, it'd be great if you could share it with your network, with your friends, your colleagues, other people that you might think might benefit from this show or any of the other ones you're listening to. Guys, it's all about living life to the fullest and living the life that you desire here at The Hidden Why. I'd love to connect with you. Reach out to me at thehiddenwhy.com. And guys, you know what to do. You need to go out there and breathe more passion into every moment. And you need to do everything with greater purpose. And in doing so, discover your hidden why. This is The Hidden Why. My name is Lee Martin Utzi, signing out.